Sir Noel Coward was one of the 20th century's most successful playwrights, songwriters, actors, and directors. He's best known for his dazzling verbal wit, but Coward's original productions were also visual feasts. The image of style and sophistication that Coward cultivated on stage and off created an international impact that reverberates to this day. The stereotypical image of Coward is of an elegant playboy, but there was much more to his style than silk dressing gowns. The glamour of London's West End theatres enchanted a suburban boy who came from what he termed genteel poverty, fueling his ambitions and inspiring his fascination with the city. Coward initially broke through as a song and sketch writer, as well as a performer in musical reviews, where he began his collaborations with leading artists and designers for his sets and costumes, as well as his legendary stage partnership with Gertrude Lawrence. Many Coward songs launched in the reviews have become classics, and their original stagings could range from comic or romantic to dark, surreal, and even subversive. Dance Little Lady featured macabre, cartoonish masks and costumes by renowned designer Oliver Messel. The song expresses Noel's ambivalence toward the hypnotic pulse of the jazz age, which he felt could be both magical and destructive. Coward's work went far beyond the drawing room comedies for which he is best remembered today, from lavish operettas to massive spectacles like Cavalcade. In these early shows, he first explored the collision of his Victorian sensibility with cutting-edge modernity, a style that would become his trademark. Noel Coward worked with an extraordinary roster of set and costume designers across his career. He championed women in creative roles at a time when these fields were often dominated by men. Doris Sinkhuizen worked on several of Coward's early reviews, demonstrating wit and versatility. They would collaborate again on varied projects across three decades. Gladys Calthrop was Noel's preferred designer for 25 years, a lifelong friend and a member of his adopted family. In her extraordinary work, ranging from comedies and dramas to reviews, operettas, and films, Calthrop brought endless invention and visual excitement. She became a star in her own right, her sets and costumes eagerly awaited at every Coward premiere. Edward Molyneux worked with the playwright across his entire career. The preeminent British couturier of the 1920s and 30s, Molyneux combined elegance and restraint in a way that was quintessentially English, the ideal match for Coward's theatrical world. The white satin dress he created for Gertrude Lawrence in Private Lives became an international fashion icon, one of the defining designs of its era. Renowned fashion photographer Cecil Beaton was initially jealous of Coward's enormous success in the theater. But Beaton eventually collaborated happily with Coward on his Victorian comedy Quadrille and the French farce Look After Lulu. Couturier Victor Stiebel's chic but understated clothes were a perfect match for the female characters in Coward's plays. Norman Hartnell, by contrast, was known for his highly embellished dresses, and he dazzled with all 20 of Gertrude Lawrence's costumes in Coward's Tonight at 8.30. From early on, Noel Coward had an instinct for self-promotion and skillfully utilized the power of his public image on stage and off. His sense of style was so influential that even his personal wardrobe ignited trends in men's fashion. As Coward's enormous fame and success grew, he found himself moving in lofty social circles that demanded clothes to match. In the 1950s, when Coward was dismissed for seeming out of date, he reinvented his image with a triumphant cabaret act in Las Vegas that revitalized his career. 
Coward was a gay man at a time when homosexuality was illegal in Britain. He maintained his personal relationships discreetly, but in plain sight, and Jack Wilson and Graham Payne were the two great loves of his life. As an international celebrity, Coward's houses were also a media focus. His decorating style, a unique blend of the traditional and the contemporary, had an impact on popular taste that endures today. Noel was a serious amateur painter, especially devoted to landscapes. After his move to Jamaica, his palette and technique shifted to what he jokingly called his touch and go gan style. The casual atmosphere of the tropics also brought out the peacock in Coward, and he seized the opportunity to dress as vividly as he wished. In the latter years of his career, Noel performed memorable supporting roles in movies, from The Italian Job to Boom, in which he remained as stylish as ever. In the nearly 50 years since his death, Noel Coward has only seemed to grow in popularity. His plays are still performed worldwide, his work steadily adapted for television and cinema, and many of his songs have become standards. He also continues to exercise a powerful influence on contemporary lifestyles and fashion. Coward had a keen love of scent and often mentions perfume in his work. Many of his favorite brands are still made today and have become classics. Luxury hotels around the world pay tribute to Coward with suites named in his honor. His paintings are now eagerly collected and have become emblematic of his era. Noel was always fascinated with the latest technology, and his 3D snapshots from the 1950s still feel contemporary today. Current fashion designers such as Georgina von Etzdorf, with her luxurious dressing gowns and smoking jackets, have been influenced by Coward. One of the American designer Anna Sui's recent collections was inspired by the ghostly technicolor sparkle of the 1945 film version of Blythe Spirit. Coward's name still conjures up a world of wit, romance, and glamour, a sense of style that is central to his enduring legacy. Mm -hmm.